BBC Radio Leeds. It is BBC Radio Leeds. We are talking about the cost of living. It's something that we've been talking about for weeks and months now. Uh, well, new figures from BBC Newsround have found that 73% of children are worried about money in the lead up to Christmas. And this worry is having a pretty severe impact on lots of different family units. Our reporter, Khadija Rizvi, has spoken to children in Bradford who told her how they're feeling. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's worrying. I get cold sometimes, hungry. It's not happy. Recently, me and uh, a few other people that I know around school have uh, had their electricity and uh, gas go like like that really quick. The subject of the cost of living crisis is not a typical conversation for a nine-year-old. But Zach, like many others his age, is very aware of the impact it can cause. Here at Bowling Park Primary School in Bradford, this is what the children have to say. When like gas bills and house prices and electricity all go up. Basically when all the prices go up and sometimes it's very, very a struggle for people. Food prices, gas prices and electric prices going up. Do you know what the rise of cost of living is? Yes. That people are suffering because they can't pay like their bills and stuff. People don't even get enough food to eat or they don't have enough electricity to use. It's really sad. A recent survey by Newsround found that 72% of over 2,000 children were worried about their families having less money over the next few months. Many of the children I spoke to said they were worried about their parents. It makes me feel sad because I don't like to see my parents suffer. They're nervous about like like getting into debt then they won't be able to pay anything. It makes me feel very anxious because like I think that most people will, will become homeless. Especially being Christmas. Parents are feeling the impact and the squeeze of cost of living because it's like more expensive for presents and that. And have you had to change your Christmas list? It's not, it's not normal because uh, last Christmas I never had to do that, but uh, I think this Christmas I do have to do it. How does that make you feel? Are you worried about that? Yeah, I get upset about it sometimes. As costs continue to rise, Matthew Langley, the head teacher of Bowling Park Primary School, talks about the impact it has on the pupils. Of course, young children don't necessarily frame things in cost of living crisis. That's not what they see. What they do see is a parent or a family member who is sad or stressed or worried or depressed or angry and all of those things. How would you explain the cost of living to the children? A lot of our children experience it every day. We have children who can talk very clearly about what happens when you run out of electricity. And that means then an evening in the cold, it means an evening of no cooked food, even means an evening with uh, candles and darkness, which is ridiculous, isn't it? In 2022, that we have kids living like that in, uh, in a big city in England. It's ridiculous. He says the school tries to offer as much help and support as possible. But even before this, lower income families are always hit the hardest. The massive effect it's having on parents and families mm -hmm. in terms of optimism, looking forward to stuff, Christmas around the corner, and we're honestly hearing families talking about cancelling Christmas. And I've never heard that before. And I hope we never have to hear it again.